So with your hacksaw, with the new blade and the teeth facing forward, you're gonna see the pipe's gonna jump all over while I make this cut, but a few tips. One, do not apply much pressure down. Just do fast, short strokes and it should help you get through the pipe. Two, make sure that you're not pushing the pipe where it's gonna pinch the blade or that will stick the blade and make the cut much harder. Then once that's done, since I have gloves on, I'm just gonna deburr with my gloves, just smoothing the inside and outside, which easily will take all the PVC shavings or the burrs off of the pipe. Now, since we're doing the push to fit, it does come with sandpaper. So you'll sand the outside edges, creating a chamfer, which will make the pipe easier to insert into the fitting. Then you need some type of lubricant. All I'm using is dish soap here. So just putting dish soap around each of the outsides and then marking one inch to know that when I got full depth within the coupling. So here's the coupling. Make sure your O-rings are in the channels and seated. And then without it at an angle, so straight onto the pipe, you'll press and do a slight twist. And you'll see that one inch mark will then go away. So hopefully that helped you guys out. And if you wanna see another super handy fitting called a shark bite for your water lines, they're super flexible and come in very handy for DIY homeowners like us. So check out this video right here and I'll walk you through all the pros and even the cons to see if this is the right type of fitting for your projects around the house. So thanks for joining me on this video and we'll catch you on that next one. Take care.